so hello guys welcome back to the channel a lot of you guys were requesting for this lab that is from design vertex ai challenge lab so first of all click on start lab and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel more such amazing videos now for this lab i have shared one github repo you need to open copy the contents and paste on the notepad either you can use only online notepad or just use your personal notepad so just paste it on the notepad now here first of all open the cloud console incognito window if you know how to open i have just shared just follow the way i am doing now you have to click on i understand now from here you have to open the vertex ai so how you will open the vertex ai you have two methods you can use the navigation menu or just search bar so from here click on overview now here we will be creating the prompts and after that we will be executing it in the i mean workbench vertex ci jupyter lab so first of all wait for the page to fully load and now we have to click on create prompt so now here basically we have to update the model and change the region and then we will insert the image as a part of task number one so first of all switch the model to flash 001 and now here we have to update the region click on advanced now update the region from here now here insert the image you have to click on import from cloud storage select the bucket and select the png file now click on ok now here you have to add a prompt so for prompts i've shared the prompts in the description so how you have to copy just select all contains control a and then c just paste on your notepad now copy this paste on the prompt section and enter submit button now again copy the second prompt paste over here and just click on submit button now for prompt number three copy again paste over here and hit enter button so finally we have completed prompt one basically task one has been successfully completed now we have to save the prompt so save it if you are unable to see the region wait for a few seconds and it will be updated automatically now here i have enabled auto save so it will be saved automatically in case you have missed you will have to just click on the save button let me show you wait for a few seconds it will take two to five minutes now as you can see it was showing saving now it has been saved now here what you have to do wait for a moment and now we'll hit check my progress for task number one wait for a moment again now try to hit check my progress you can see we got the score now task number two is a little bit buggy but still we'll get the score no need to worry about it so let's complete the task number two now, so for task number system instructions first of all clear it now copy it here and as you can see they are unable to add the examples so just leave it and when you hit check my progress you won't get the score so basically here we have to add a prompt now from here we have to again create a new prompt and the model will be again gemini 2.0 flash so for switching the model first of all click on create prompt and for switching the model click on switch model and select the model like we did in the first step so don't worry here is the step let me show you how we'll complete this part so finally as you can see here we have to just first of all copy the system instruction remove this unwanted pop-up just paste over here now switch the model to gemini 2.0 flash now here update the region to the region present on the lab instruction now as you can see we are unable to add examples no need to worry we'll get the score now from here just update the prompt so you have to just 
start from the key products attributes you don't have to copy the input one so copy all contents and just paste on the prompt area that is untitled prompt one and just click on submit button now wait for these replies and responses to come so finally all responses have been done now it's auto saving if you are unable to see this saving icon there will be option to click on save so you can click on save and it will be saved automatically now from here you have to just wait a moment click on prompt management you can open it on a new tab so just open it in new tab and here we'll be using workbench so for notebooks click on workbench and open the jupyter notebook so this will take some time meanwhile if you haven't liked the video like it and do subscribe to the channel i repeat if you don't know how to open the workbench just click on the workbench present on the notebook section and just open the jupyter lab so finally on the prompt page you have to click on this creative content just click on it if you don't know how you have to find you have to click on prompt management and now we will be using this for our jupyter lab task so wait for the jupyter notebook to open finally the jupyter notebook is now ready now here click on this plus icon and select python 3 notebook now again we have to create a terminal so first of all we will rename this file so just right click and click on rename file select all and just click on rename so finally we have created image analysis file now from here you have to create a new terminal so for that you have to just click on file and first of all click on new so here wait a minute click on build and just select the code so here is the updated code that we will be using for our task on the lab so first of all if you haven't checked it out check it now from here we have to just open the terminal so new and just click on terminal now wait for the terminal to load fully now for the first part let me go back to this where is the you don't have to use the product tagline one you have to only use the first one which we have just opened so this was the main thing just copy it and paste over here now once it's done it will take few seconds so wait for it So now we will go to the image analysis file and first of all copy the remaining task to and just paste on the cell here and just click on play button. Now we will have to wait for the kernel to get idle. Now after that we will be modifying some of the prompts. So where we will get the prompts? Same as in the description I have shared the repo. You can check it out. So now let's update the prompt. So copy the prompt from here and just you can replace any one. So I am replacing the first one. Make sure to replace it carefully. And now you have to just update this one too. So now copy it carefully. Also add the full stop. So finally I hope you have copied it now let's update it so just select anyone make sure to follow the way I am doing so now the kernel is running and it's idle now so finally the kernel is now idle now we will check again so this was the task so here we will update it again if you want you can update it or just let it check my progress and see if you don't get score so let's modify it again 
and now again click on run and it will again show the output after that let's say check my progress so basically one thing you need to do that you have to save the notebook one thing we are missing that we have to save the notebook so for that click on file and then save all so now we will definitely get the score so let's say to check my progress so as you can see here it's still processing but i have sure that it will get the score without any issue sometimes it takes time to update the score so you need to wait for it so as you can see we got the score without any issue now for task number five copy the name here again we'll be using python 3 as kernel so now click on plus icon and just python 3 now here again rename the notebook right click over the untitled file so finally the notebook has been renamed now again we'll copy the same contents from the model ai so for locating the model ai go back to the same paste over here and now just click on play button now here we have to modify the tagline to keyword nature so for that you have to just copy the tagline carefully again update it now hit run so we need to wait for a couple of minutes after that it will be updated so if you are not getting score no need to worry just again try to update the code and then again click on run and then save all click on file save all now let's say to check my progress and see whether we get full score or not so it's taking a bit of time so if you're new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel and if you need any other lab do comment down below i will make a tutorial for it so finally we got the full score and we are done with this course i have created the complete playlist let me show you my channel if you are new to this arcade or hack to skill program just follow the videos it will help you a lot in your learning journey and you can check out the vertex ai playlist so this is the updated solution of the all the labs more labs have been added it will be showing soon Thank you guys, have a great day.